Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the mindset of the police and why they think the law doesn't apply to them, only to the public. But first, if you wanted to find a police force within the UK that gave you some kind of context of how not to police, you would be hard pressed not to look at Lancashire Police. This force is a failure, in my opinion. They have abused people for years. They have made people's lives a living hell for years. I want you to have a look at the images that are on the screen now. I can't show you the actual video footage of this because YouTube don't like that kind of violence. And for good reason. This constable is seen on the video that you can source yourself stamping on the back of this individual while he's being cuffed, slapping him around the head and kicking him in the head with reinforced boots on. This constable, in my opinion, should be nowhere near the public. This is psychotic behaviour, again, from the police. Lancashire police are an absolute failure. You've only got to look at the Paul Ponting uh, YouTube channel to look at how bad they actually are. This constable needs to get out of uniform and into a court because he could have killed this man. I just thought I'd bring this to your attention. Have a look for it on YouTube. See what you think. How you doing guys? Just walking out. Uh, and I'm near Tower Bridge. So you got the Tower Bridge uh, Hilton. So I thought that I'd see whether or not the Hilton staff are worldwide friendly uh, as they're known for. So, and we'll just see whether or not uh, they are. And that's what we'll do. Uh, so. <laughs> We've got about three staff members on. Now I don't know about you, but this site doesn't give me a lot of confidence. Four Met police constables approaching you isn't something that really you want to see. It always spells trouble. They're never there to gain the facts of anything that's going on really especially if you've got a camera in your hand they're just there to cause you an issue could it be wrong let's keep watching Hello. How are you doing? Give us two seconds of this guy and we'll what's go going on? What do, what, what do you mean? What? What? What do you mean? Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop. <laughs> rewind. Okay. Right. There we go. How Thank you. you. Been involved in okay. All okay. How are you doing, mate? You having a good day? And what's your shoulder? I'm, I'm good. Right Thank you very much. And yourself, please. And Is there anything you want to say? I like your camera. No. What? If you can identify properly. Thank you. And if you can identify. PC John is one one six three. Thank you very much. Right. Do you want to tell us anything? What do I need to tell you? Well, apparently you're getting in people's faces. No, no, no. Who said that? Who said that? Yeah? Okay, right. If people actually approach me, okay, and I stand still, okay, that's them coming to me. you're covering your face, it's quite So what if I'm covering my face? If you spin that round and show people your face, they'll see that it's quite intimidating when someone approaches them covering their face. Well, do you not think... I'm going to point out the screamingly obvious here. It is not against the law. To wear a face mask, a balaclava, a surgical mask, whatever mask you want to wear, it's not against the law. Some buildings, some organisations that have premises don't allow face masks. That's their internal policy. But they can't put that policy out into a public space, and neither can the police. The tall constable here is just wanting to antagonise Plod. You can see, and Plod, Plod does a very good job of 
trying to talk to the police constables here, the tall one and the short ginger one. But that's the problem. They try and get you to talk on different levels to different constables, bombarding you with questions, trying to fluster you into making all sorts of silly mistakes. Plot's very good, it doesn't do this. But it's very easy to get caught in this trap. Don't get don't get caught in anything like that. It's very easy for the police to try and use what you say against you. Four of you coming up to one person is intimidating. Because, because Do you not think that, it makes no difference? It makes no difference. So, so you tell me then, okay, how many people, okay, right, if that's okay, if that's the case, okay, then I want a crime reference number, okay, for that. I want the crime reference number for that. Can you warn me? Okay, no, you're not going to warn me, you're not going to warn me. Okay, no, don't tell me he is. Don't tell me he is. No, I don't have to listen. I don't have to. Imagine four individuals coming up to you random strangers you've never seen them in your life before acting this way you're doing nothing wrong in a public street minding your own business and four individuals that you've never seen before come up to you and start bombarding you with questions trying to coerce you into giving them details being rude belligerent to you this is the antithesis of what it's like to be a copper they can do what they want but the, as soon as a member of the public does it, it's then a crime. This, to me, is unlawful. This is them flexing what authority they think they have. For me, I would have stuck to one police constable to speak to. If I don't like what he's saying, I would have completely blanked him. And then I would have stayed silent. But Plod does a good job here of creating the conversation to go a little bit further so that we can see what type of constables we're dealing with here. Listen. Sir, sir, okay. is, you're entitled to film what you want, that's no problem about whatsoever, okay? You can film where you want, when you want, in public places. You're going into private buildings, if they ask you to stop filming, that's No, I didn't go into any in private building. Us, to, okay, well us, then right? if that's the case, that's go and look at the camera footage, okay, I can do that, and if you I'm can actually do that, then come back. What I'm going to tell you okay? right now is, Until that, don't tell people. me. Listen, don't tell sir, me. No, sir, I'm not getting sir. aggressive. It's, we're going to keep talking okay. over each other. It's going to so, get a bit silly. So, 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 no, I don't so, have to. Don't want to stay okay. Longer than I have to. Well, that's your problem, not stop, mine. Stop okay. causing okay. issues. No, I'm not causing public. issues. You okay. You no. You no, people get in my face. They come up to me. Okay, go and look at the camera for you. I don't have to show you anything. Don't show me that. You're essentially wearing a balaclava recording people on the street. Yeah, and? Well, it's quite intimidating. And if someone did that to your fa member, your if mother, they did that to your mum or your you dad, okay. you wouldn't be able well, to. Hang on a minute. Have you got weren't, weren't, the whole, weren't the whole so of the country speak? told yeah, to do yeah, this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So okay. in other words, yeah, you're going to mug. Don't people because it's not very nice. You're a mug. No, that's not very nice either. Don't be rude to me. Okay, he's a mug. Don't be rude to me. He's a mug. You're showing yourself up now. No, he's a mug. You're embarrassing yourself. No, you were fine, but you're a mug. Okay. Yeah. I want that crime reference number as I've already asked you. Okay. Well, if somebody's put in an actual complaint, okay, and actually called you, there is a crime reference reference number okay right then if there's no crime if there's no crime okay if there's no crime then i would bid you good day okay and, and move on look. okay go on then go on then Listen, right. what I'm saying to you is, yeah. stop being aggressive to yeah. people. I'm Let not being aggressive. No, don't tell me themselves. I'm being aggressive. I'm not being aggressive. You're the one. Okay, they're Monday the ones that got aggressive. So good day. Okay, mug. Okay. The Mets just can't help themselves. 30,000 plus officers on the books, nearly 9,000 PCSOs, and they still can't get it right. There's nothing about this interaction that gives any kind of trust or respect back into the Met. Four individuals that just haven't got a clue how to interact with the public. Uh, the tall guy, just rude and belligerent. I don't know whether you counted the amount of times he said, are you an auditor? Are you an auditor? Are you an auditor? Who cares? Obviously he does. Because he hates auditors. He hates people who show the police in the light that they should be in. Which is very bad at the moment. The ginger chunky lad who has got that really weird odd smirk on his face when he's talking. He likes to just talk over everyone. Um, tries to give unlawful orders. Don't be rude. You're making yourself look foolish. Shut up. That's not your job to tell people not to be rude at all. What gets me with this interaction is the fact that four people have come up to Plod in uniform and berated him. Tried to make him answer questions about his personal details. Uh, tried to ask about his filming 
can they see his footage? If this was normal people, regular people out of uniform, not police, you would ring the police and say, I'm being harassed here by, you know, four people. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get robbed here. I don't know if, you know, if they wanted to cause me harm. But because they're in uniform, they think they're above the law. And this is where we need to change the narrative with the police. Mark Rowley has come out recently and said he doesn't like the fact that his constables are being filmed. Well, this is why. Mark Rowley is just another fossil that's been wheeled out to try and steer the net out of more misconduct hearings and more failures, and he's doing a very bad job of it. If he thinks that stopping people from filming the Met Police or any police in the country is a good idea, then he is corrupt. It's only when people film that we take the power back because we are showing what these constables do day to day. Don't watch Channel 5, these police interceptor programmes. For me, it's comedy to watch because they get things wrong on camera and they seem to think they're getting it right. It's a comedy act. I want to thank you for joining me on this episode. Um, I've really enjoyed putting these videos together over the last few weeks. Thanks for the subscriptions, the likes, the comments. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.